<laughs> right. Okay. So I'm putting Grid Runner to one side for a minute, or well, Pesky Matrix as it's called now. And um, what I wanted to do was let's go into another. Let's do another uh, disassembly because I've been asked to do another several. You know that we got. Um, I've been asked to do a def Defender clone. I think it was it Space Taxi or something or uh, something else. Um, I'm disassembling another Jeff Mint classic, which was Laser Zone. So I'm doing that at the moment. And I thought I'd go through another one, but this time, instead of disassembling a 64 game, we'll disassemble a Vic. We'll make it hard. We won't have the debugger. To, at, we won't have the C64 debugger to save us, so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. So, let me um, fire up a special piece of software called Infiltrator. Here we go. I don't know why it goes over there. Anyway, so you know what Infiltrator is? Infiltrator is a program that will exam examine a .prg or a Vice snapshot. Now we can't use Vice snapshot shot for VIC-20 games because the Infiltrator crashes, it, it has a fit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the program. Hi, John here, another subscriber. Stay a while, stay forever. Oh, thank you for subscribing. I got another subscriber, hey. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I think that's five now, five subscribers, yay. Um, Right, so we're going to take this PRG. I've got the PRG somewhere. <laughs> oh dear, mate. <laughs> uh, thanks for the bits, mate. Thank you very much. So, let's run the program. So let's run... Where is it? Where is it? Where's Vice? Right, so we should be set up. Yeah, we are. So we're set... Oh, what's that artifact in the bottom? Yeah, that's better. So we're set up. It's an 8K game, all right? So caveat, it's an 8K game. So let's let's load Myriad in. Uh, there you can see, look, laser zone. So Myriad. So... F1, it's very noisy this game, very colourful, as you can, as you can hear it's very noisy, is that too loud? Okay, that's two Vic 20s. Yes, it is. Well, it's, yeah, two Vic 20s. Right, so there we are. That's the game. So we're going to load it in Infiltrator straight up, straight off the bat. Load the PRG in. It tells us where our start and end points are, so keep that in mind. So let's write that down. Let's find me a bit of paper to write that. Down. Oops, wrong one. That's the one. There we go. Hello. Oh, I'm not going to do it, am I? Right. So, 1200, 1201 start to, was it? 30, 32A9. <laughs> oh dear right so we're going to basically we're going to just disassemble it we're just going to get it tell it to go now i've got 
VS Code up and running. So we'll open a folder and we will make um, we will make oh not in there in there in there it's a Vic 20 game uh, new folder that'll do Standalone version, binary code. Okay, let's try it. Has it disassembled or has it just loaded it in? I'll, I'll look at it. I'll have a look at it later, mate. I'll have a look at it later. I'll minimise that. Right. So we should have it disassembled now. Quick and easy. Right. So we're starting at twelve oh one. Here we go. So let's copy it. Twelve oh one. We'll we'll do that one as well, and we'll go towards it. Thirty two a nine. So let's grab it. Keep going, John. Keep going. Here we go. 32A9. Bang on the nose. Copy it. Create a thing and we'll call it Myriad Original.txt. Paste it in. Right, this is it. This is disassembled. That's it. Stream over. Right. So this is the basic pro. So basically what we're going to look at now is we're going to try um, and see what it does. Right, so this is the basic program. So it's starting. So that's SYS space four six right four six four six three four so that's four six three four calc right four six three four is one two one a So one two one a is here. There. Eight nine. Oh, that's three in it. Four six two four. Is it two? Oh yes, it is. Sorry, mate. Thank you very much. Did look strange. Four six two four. Ah, one oh eight. No, 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 no. Four six two four. That's better. Hey, that's more like it. So one two one oh. Right. So that's its starting point. And what you do is you try and you're trying to see if there's any copy protection going on. Yeah. Now there are many ways of copy protection. So uh, I've seen when I've disassembled when I was a kid. Um, um, it was oh I'm trying to remember now. I think it was um, 
It was a re it was a faint it was a really popular game, and the first thing that happened when it ran, the first thing it happened, it inverted all the bits in memory. So it ran through all it ran through all memory and inverted all the bits. Uh, and it's try it's try to, it's trying to, it's sort of a copy protection thing. Now this is doing a similar sort of thing because when you look when you look at it, <laughs> when you. <laughs> Oh, oh well. When you look at it, um, it loads Y with 21, then loads X with 0, and then here, it's doing a load and store. So it's loading at 322A and storing it at 3810. So 322A, and then it's decreasing back. So it's copying a block of data and then it decreases 1217, which is that one there. 1, 2, no, 1, 2, 1, 7, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so that's that one there. And 1, 2, 1, A is that one there. So it decreases the high bytes of those and then decreases Y and then loops back round. And then jumps to 26... A C. Now, if we hadn't have seen that and uh, and understood what's happening there, if we go to twenty six A C, you find it means absolutely nothing. It's there. Twenty six A C is in the middle of that, and it means nothing. And so, what we've got to do is. I mean, we've disassembled it here. We've done it. It's it's done it. We've disassembled it. If you want to disassemble the program as it stands, here it is. But really, we want to disassemble the program while it's while it's moving. Yeah. So what we're trying, what we're doing here, is then we've got to work out what it's doing. So it's copying from thirty-eight one zero. So basically, that's. It finishes at 3910, yeah, because it's 255, so it's copying a page at a time. And it's loading from 32, 32, 2A. Well, well, it's 33, 2A, effectively. So that's where it's copying from. And it's working backwards, right? So it's working backwards. So we've got to minus 21 off that. So 21 off 3210 is 1121, 112A. And 3910 minus 21 is 1918. So it's 1810. Is that right? Do people concur? So effectively, the program when it's relocated will be at 1810 to 3910 yeah that's basically it so what we need to do is we need to put when we run vice we need to put a breakpoint where it starts which is this 26 AC. So we're going to load the program back in again. We're going to load Myriad back into Vice. But what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to put a breakpoint. We're going to put a breakpoint in it to try and stop it before it gets anywhere. So we'll leave Infiltrator there. So Vice, 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 Vice. I don't know why this is here. Uh -uh. Um, so we see, can we, can we can put breakpoints in, can't we? So it, is it break, break, um, two, six, AC, oops, there we go. So we've put a break, we've put a breakpoint in at, um, a point that we know it's going to be jumping to. Yeah. 
So if I quit here. Oh. How do you get out the monitor? Let's do that again. Oh, oh is it exit? Let's get rid of that. Oh, gee. Right, oh, okay. So break 26AC. 26AC, yeah. Q. No, exit. There we go. So we will now load in Myriad and it should break. There we go. So it's broke now. So what we can do now is we know that from our maths we should be starting at 1810 onwards. That looks okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to save it. So save Myriad moved um, from 1800 and we'll try and just make sure we get everything. So 3A00. So we're going 10 bytes before and in fact we'll do 1700 just to be safe. So that should save, oh, um, where are we? Dot PRG. That should save to the hard drive, which it does. Now, where did it save it to? That is the question. Um, hmm. Oh, I don't know where it saved it to. <laughs> hang on, hang on. C CD temp. Okay, CD backslash. Okay, the IR. Right, okay, CD temp. Right, let's do this again. Right, so in the temp drive, I should have, there it is. Right, let me move it into the folder we've just created. Source, Derasoft, Vic20, uh, Myriad, where's Myriad? There it is. Right, so I've just put it into the directory. So there it is, Myriad. So we can load, we get rid of that, get rid of that. We should be able to load now um, that program back into, uh, da, 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 Vic, 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 Vic. There we go. So it's told us what our range is, so we're gonna Disassemble it. So, reset to go. So that's done. So we should have, in fact, I'm gonna close this down because it's remembered what was there before. Let's do it properly. Start from a fresh infiltrator. Why'd you go over there? Dissemble, go. Right then. So, we know we started at 1810. Let's go there. Mm -mm -mm. Right, there we go. So that's where we saved it from, 7, 1700. So it should be 1810, which is here. Right, so we're going to copy from there to 
3910. In fact, it's not 1810, is it? Oh, yes it is. Oh, have I saved it? I ain't saved enough, has I? I ain't saved enough. <laughs> oh, plank. 32A2, minus 21. Is 11. Yes, I haven't saved enough. Wally, 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 Wally. Let's go back into it. Let's put that break point batting on it. But we're not going to put the break point. I want to. No, no, put the break point there. Break 2 6 AC. Right. Load it in. Here we go. Right, memory. One two, uh, disassemble. One two one zero. Oh, because that's where it started. What's it got up to? Ah, here we go. So it stored it from there to there. Oh yeah, that's right. I did. I have. I did store. I, I'm doubting myself again. I did store enough. Ah, doubting myself again. Right, I did save enough memory. Uh, Stacy. Right, let's do this again. Go, disassemble. Right, 1810. Which is... There, so we'll take that line. Two, three, nine. Three, nine, one, oh. And we'll know, there we go. We'll know we hit it because it gets zeros. Here we go. There's our end point there. Let's copy that. Minimize that down, create a new file. Right. So now, we need to kickify this now. So let's sort this out because I want it to be right. So get rid of that. That's going to be one zero. So that's a nine. So I think that, I think that's LDA hash dollar 64. I think. I think it is. Just make sure. Yep, 69's immediate. Thought it was. Right, so that's that converted. So we're starting at 8110. Right, so we need to copy that. So let's copy that because that's the one we're going to work on. We'll put that into GitHub into our converter. Paste it in there. We will fire our converter up. So 
So, inf convert infiltrator to ASM. That's the one we want. Go away, you. That's the one we want because we're not converting to kick. Uh, we're not converting to CPS. So let's start a terminal up. Now, there's our R1. There's my test one there. So we are converting M Y R I A D underscore moved underscore orge dot txt and we are going to call it M Y R A D moved kick dot txt so this is going to run now run through the disassembled file and it's going to get rid of strip out all the nonsense and make it kick friendly there we go so that's done that so we should have a kick version which is there so we will grab that and we will put it in our vic folder there we go So now, now our routine looks more uh, kickified. So we need to now, um, if you remember back in the grid runner days, we we assembled it. So we're going to put a start point here, so we know where the start point is. One eight one zero. Right, and then we will rename it to be ASM. There we go. So let's cut. Let's build this. Now, it's, of course, it's not. It's going to fire the C64 up, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Right, because what I'm interested in is the byte dump this is what I'm interested in so let's get our original one that we moved yeah and the byte dump together and what we're going to do is we're going to compare yeah so this is our byte dump hang on you can't see that very well let's do this is that better can you can you see that guys yeah Yeah. Good. Right, so we're going to start at 811810. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare. So the first thing we're going to do is go right to the bottom. We're going to go right to the bottom. We're going to see how bad it is or how good it is. Right, so this finishes at 3FF8. So what did we assemble to? Three eight eight C. Ooh, look at that! Two bytes out. <laughs> Two bytes. <laughs> ah. Yes. Okay. Well. Two bytes. That means there's some zero page calls that are not actually zero page. So, how can we find them? Well, that's easily enough done. You do do Control F and do uh, space dollar zero zero zero. Well, there's what two there. So we're looking at round one one nine e five. So let's look at our bike dump at one nine e five.
nine e five is ASL OC, but we're missing a byte. It's only it's done it to zero page, and it's done it that one to zero page as well. So these two look like they are the culprits. So let's open our assembly file. 19E5, let's see if we can find it. Too far. 1A. Here we go, there they are. And Kick has got these things where you can do this. A, B, S. Dot. ABS which then is now telling the kick assembler these are not zero page jobbies these are full blown in your face three byte instructions not two byte instructions right let's do it again so it's going to fire C64 we're not bothered about that let's load the original text file in and let's load the dump file in So, uh, put that over there, get rid of that, turn that off, drag it over. So, the simple test, like, like before, simple test, go to the bottom, see what your count is. Yeah, let's see how bad it is. Now, we was two bytes out before, so here we go. How far are we out now? One. We are one byte out. Ooh, that is naughty. That is naughty. One byte out. Oh dear. Okay. Let's do it again. So, space. This time we are going to do two zeros. Now we've got 50 instances of them, so we're going to work our way through them to see if we've missed one. Now, right, they're the two that we've just done. Aha! We have another one here. 1DB8. Right, where is it? 1db8 Somewhere around there it is. There's the fella. Right. ABS. Get that saved. F6. Close it down. So we are at that. This should have loaded in. And look at that. We are bang on the same. Right. So our program assembles identically. So we are matched up. So the thing we need to do now is we need to um, make it run the... Vi we need to make it run Vicvice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pinch. We are going to pinch um, Petsky. Pet Matrix. Pet Matrix. Vic. And we're going to pinch the workspace. Here we go. Copy that. And we're going to put it in our project. There we go. So now we've got the workspace. So we should be able to just change this. So um, assemble directory is not that. It's just bin. Our start project is... Where are you? There you are. Rename. Oh, rename. Is that... We want the 8K model to come up. We're going to use 3.4 from now. We don't need these two. 
that should be it. Right, so I'm going to open the workspace now. So now we're in the Vic workspace. So, moment of truth. Here we go. F6. Does it play? Now, our start point was 26AC. So that's 99. Okay, so SYS 9900. Here we go. Let's see. Booyah! Right, let me pause this. How'd you pause it? There we go. <sighs> now, okay, so that's paused at the wrong time. How do I? Alt P, okay, Alt P. Come on, fire. Come on. Right. As you can see, we have got a little bit of corruption on the graphics, which is not a problem. That's that's probably um, the assembler because we've got lots of bytes and stuff like that, byte statements, and we've we've. Uh, disassembled the whole lot we haven't identified where the character set is yet and the stuff like that so we've got a little bit of um, corruption going on but we don't know where the character set is yet so we need to look at the code to try and understand where the character set is so we can go back to the file that we saved the moved file and extract the character set at that location once we've identified it so let's get this The fact that it's working is good news. So let's find 2C, 26AC. 26AC. Here we go, it's around here somewhere. We saw a no, lot of no ops, didn't we? Here we go. I wouldn't put it past it if this is some sort of game cycle. 26. AC here where A3 AC it's got to be around here somewhere this is it, isn't it? Because that's the location and that's where it jumped from. 6B4, B9, 26AC, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B. That's here. That's there, that's there. So that's our start point there. So we need to understand what it's doing. So the first thing it's doing is 9005. Let's load map in the Vic. In fact, in fact, let me do this. Um, which will make it easier to look at. Um, there we go. Grab that, plonk it in there. There we go. Computes move in the Vic. So now we can look at it inside VS Code. 
Right, let's go to... 9005. Now, you guys are probably missing out because my fat head's in the way. Let's do this. Um, is that better? Can you live with that? Or do you want me to get my, rid of my fat head? Right. So, um... Here we go. Straight away, character map addressing. Right, so it's doing F. So that's up here. So. Bit four, bit five. So, bits seven, four to seven. Default value is 240. Okay, and then the screen address. So the screen's staying in the same place. All right. So, keep going. It's putting zero. Hmm. Character map. So we're we're looking for something down here. O A O B. Right. So this must be resetting it. So let's go and find that. Right. Here we go. So nine double O three. I bet that's the color. Number of characters displayed. Okay. A E. So bits. Bit seven, raster beam. Oh, that's the high byte. So one to six, default value is 46. Let's work this out. Eight, eight. Right, so this is That's that. Uh, that one is six, so mm, da, 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 two, four, that's six. That's thirty two. That's wants to go there. C12. What's that? 28. Right, that's that. So let's see what's doing. One, three. So bits. Hello, Mr. Kebab. How are you doing? Right, number of lines displayed on the TV picture multiplied by two. So it is doing that. Bit six to one. So what does that work out to? So that's um, one, oh, one, one, one. Is that right? That's not right. Bit one to six.
Right, bits one to six. So that's that. So that's bit seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's one oh. One oh. One one one. That's twenty three. That can't be right. That can't be right. Oh, number of lines. Oh, right. Okay. So, equals 23 lines. Well, that's not right. Because it's divided by 2. So divide by 2 equals 12 and a half. So that's 12. 12 lines. I wonder if they're double height characters. Hmm. Interesting, Mr. Bond. Uh, bit 7. Default values 1 or 0. Rest of beam location. Bit 0. Combine this with the low. So that's set in the high. That's set in the high thing. Hmm. One six. Let's have a look at two. But that's the columns. Yeah. Number of columns. This serves as the ninth bit of the fourteen bit addressing map. Oh, okay. Not to six. Default value is twenty two. Right. This one is seven six five four. There. So that is one. Oh, one, one. That's 11. Oh, no, no, it goes all the way. 22. Right, so that's 22 columns. So that's 22. Okay. Hello, Mr. Warlock. Hover over AE. Yeah, I've got the right number. Right, so those are the two. So it's set. It, so it's reconfiguring. It's reconfiguring the screen because it's setting it to twelve lines. So three. Here we go. Three. So it's saying the default value is normally forty-six. Number of character lines displayed on the screen multiplied by two. By varying this value, you can make the border expand or shrink depending on. So they are, the default value is zero, eight by eight, or eight by 16. But that's mean it's bit mapping it, so that's still eight by eight. So they've made the screen smaller, don't know why. So this is changing, right, 900F, that I think is sound. There we go. Cheers. Um, so now it's the colour. Right. So they're setting the colour. Which is so. Default value is one, but that's not. It's two. These four bits determine the background color of the screen. So that is two. Zero, one, two, which is red. Red. And then eight, which is orange. They're funny colors. Good evening. And then, oh yes, it is. It is. Oh, I've just just remembered. Let's start the game up. It is. Look, it's orange and black. <laughs> So they haven't actually 
they haven't actually changed anything yet they're just setting up for the screen because this routine here is print to screen so they're printing text at 24 f2 right 24 f2 is here oops oops it's no 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 don't 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 fight stop 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 oh how'd you pause this stupid game pause ah got you right paused it's paused Right, so this is setting up the screen. So this lot here, from here, which is, I mean, this is 24 EF and we've got a jump. So that's going to make it 24 F2. So this, so we'll, we'll do this. Which is title screen text. So this is the text for the title screen. So this, um, and it and it will be terminated by a zero. So let's see how far this goes before we see a zero. If anyone sees a shit zero, shout it out. Here, there. So that's where it ends. So that is the title screen. So I'll put another. So we'll just do that so we can see. So this is the text for the title screen. So we need to, all we need to do is we just need to recombine this back into in, into text to um, to make it work. Now if I die, come on, die, 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 die. There we go. Die again. Come on. Die again. Good at dodging. F1. Right, so we've just did that. What we've just seen there is all this lot. So Rabbit Software presents. So this basically, I'm going to take all the bytes out of the original and rebuild. Now I know where that. So this is the title screen. So now we know what that is doing. So it carries on and then, yeah, we've had enough of you, stop. So we carry on and we set up. Some, thi some things, right, so I'm wondering if this is checking for the F1 key and it's on a timer. I bet it's on a timer. But that's jumping, that's jumping ahead to 25C0. So I wonder if that's where we, ah, oh, there it is. So it's here, so it starts again. Right. Okay. So what we're doing here, so this is back here. We're doing the triple one zero. So that's setting the colour again. So that's setting it to black. And 15 light yellow. So light yellow. Did it did it have a border? I'm not 
I'm not starting it up again. Right, F5. Uh, uh, sorry, O5. We're try what well, basically what we're trying to do is identify where the character set is, so we can extract it. Um, so. Here we go. Five. Right, so what we're doing here. So we're setting the screen with all the ones. So the screen is in the normal place, 1E00. Zero, zero. So we're, we're okay there. And... Let's make a note of that. And character set is going to be, let's see, where E O E as here. So the character set's there. One eight O O. So that's where the character set is. I wonder if that is true. some there Look, there's a two there so I wonder how far this character set goes for um, I because they've set the character Oh, because they've set the screen at 1E00, zero, zero, so that's 1D6, I bet it's somewhere around here, I bet this is the start of the screen here. Right, where did, where's our build? Right, where's 1E00 zero, zero start? Right, that's there. Three, three, two, three, oh, C. So it starts there. Three, three, two, three. Let's find, see if we can find, ah, oh, there it is. Here. Right, so if we F6 that. And look at the bike dump now. There we go, 1E00. Zero, zero. So this is a screen. And it goes to 1E. Well, it effectively stops there. So we. I'm just wondering if the character set is before that. Does there look like any, let's come back here. What we're looking for is any readable code. It doesn't look readable, does it? Um. That still doesn't look readable. Right, 
Right then. I think... I think we've found the character set. I think the character set is from this point. Because this looks readable. That looks readable. So... If that's 1828, 29, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2F, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4. So 1835. 2, 1EOO. So we think, I well, I think that's where the character set is. So, let's load Vice back in. We'll put the break point again. 2CA, 26AC. Yep. We'll load it back in. Myriad. Right, so CD backslash temp. Right, so save uh, myriad CS um, dot bin, and we are storing from. We'll we'll do from one eight hundred, yeah, uh, to one. E O O because it'll be easier to try and disassemble this is this yes right okay let's see if I can find that so there he is so much stuff. Put that in there. Right. So I've just put, there we go. So there's the binary file. So we should be able to import that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire CPS because I want to make sure that I've I've got it right, and CPS is a really good tool to import character sets. So we'll go and close that. We'll go and load my test one, which is that one. We will fire a new character set. Right, so character set import from file. Don't want to skip any bytes. Leave blank to get them all. Okay. Um, so we are finding that bin file that I've created. There it is. Open. And that does not look like a character. Oh, hang on. It's out by one byte. Okay, we'll do that again. Import from file. Skip one byte. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking on gas. So how much did I save? How, how, how much did I save? How big's the file? Oh, it doesn't say. Ugh. Uh, 
Republic's final. Ah. Right. One five. One five three nine. I know that's a silly number, uh, but let's see. One five three nine divided by eight. Hundred ninety two characters. Ooh. Is it using 192 characters? Let's have a look. Reverse. Oh, and look, the rest of them have moved, come in. But I'm not sure. Well, it's def that's, a, that's definitely a ship there. Over. There's the score. We got some ship parts there. Reverse. Right. So what I'll what I'll do is because um, I'm not sure how many characters we're using yet. So we've, I mean, I've we've looked at. Uh, no, go away. We've looked at the assembler. You know, we've looked at here and we've identified that this is proper coding yeah it looks like it's proper coding there but then it stops there yeah and then this is gobbledygook but I don't know how far it goes So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to take the bin file, we're going to put it into the infiltrator GitHub, and we are going to convert it into assembly. So I'll put that in there. Oh, I didn't, let's uh, load infiltrator back in. Right, so convert CS file to ASM so this is what I want to do so that is what I want to copy get rid of you get rid of you paste right so our input file our input file is called where is it myriad m y r i a d c s dot bin and our output file is m y r i a d c s dot. I'll just make it a text file at the moment. Myriad, myriad. Right. Let's see. We, let's hope. There we go. Done. So let's minimise that. Let's get back into here. That's what we want. Cut that away, put that in. Oops, there. Right. Where is it? Now, the problem is, is it one byte out? It looks it. We are one by out. Right. So we'll go back into the converter again. And what we'll do here, because we're one back, we're literally one byte out. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're going to read one byte. We're just going to read one byte. So we eliminate that one byte and then try it again. Here we go. Right. Back we go. Uh, 
it's going that way. Get up. Invertrator. Myriad CS. Cut. Paste. Right, let's minimise that. Get that out of the way. CS. Right, let's see. Do we look like we're on the right track now? To be honest, I'm not sure. I wonder if we need to, yeah, we need to do another one. We need to read another bite. Need to read another bite. So, bite two. Cut. Cut, 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 cut. Cut. Right, just load it in again, see if it looks okay now. Let's find something that looks coherently like a character. Here we go. G, A, 0, Y, so this is over. This is looking more like it. 32 is a space. Whoa, we're on a winner. <laughs> winter <laughs> thank you for the bits mate thank you oh and again thank you right now we've converted this so let's we'll copy this um, paste can't paste it can I Paste. No. Right, so that's our original. So we'll leave that there. And we will rename this. We'll do that. Right, so... Let's close workspace, go into the folder, can we modify the workspace while we're in it? Never understood it, right, myriad kick, right. Da -da 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 -da. Open workspace. So we're not using that anymore. We'll put that over there. We'll open you. Put that over there. Right, now we have this so I am going to import it here and 
and we'll rename this. It's there now. It's there. Come on. There we go. And we'll do this. Now, we'll get rid of all this lot up to that E. That's oh, too far. One D, and we worked it out that E was there. So we worked it out as there. Now this this character set's going to throw fit because we have got like 40 you know 23 hang on 28 29 oh f5 f6 Right let's look at the build So this is coming up to 1834 All right so we need to get rid of that many that many bytes effectively from this character set. Uh, da, 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 da. 1834, so that's uh you all got rid of the calculator, didn't I? Uh so it's thirty-four in hex, so it's fifty-two bytes. So how many characters is that? Six characters. That's 48. Okay. 48 and 4. So let's go into the CS. So we're getting rid of six characters. So that's going to be that. One, two, three, four, five. Six and then four. Right, F six. Right, where's our build? Right, do we run over? Yes, we're over by two bytes. We're over by two bytes. So, does our screen start at the right place? Let's have a look. No, so our screen overruns. So we we need to eliminate two more bytes in the character set. So eliminate those, and we'll do the same thing again. See if it. Let's look at the byte dump. Are we now back on track? Do we start off? Bang on! Yes, we do. And do we finish at the right value? Yes, we do. Right. Yeah, you can you can turn off loads of stuff. You can in in workspaces you can turn off extensions you don't want running. Uh, I'm I'm starting to warm up to it, especially when you can have more than one ex, uh, workspace in the directory and you can change the configuration like we did. Right. Let's see if this fires now. Let's see if this works. So S Y S nine nine zero zero. Well, okay. 
We're on a we're still on a winner. Now does our graphics look better? Oh Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you for following. Well, that's a, that's that's a that's a name I'll have struggled with. Bruno, I'll call you Bruno. Thank you very much for following. Is there a tradable VBL? Every game seems to flicker. Is there? Let's load it back in. Um, import from file. Skip two bytes. Okay. Uh -huh. Is there a trappable? Uh, oh, you mean the raster? Um, I, th I think there is, but it's not very reliable. But I think there is. I'm just trying to... S yeah, I, I don't think... To be honest, I don't think they all knew about rasters back then. <laughs> but there is there is one I'm just trying to figure out why our boulders have a line in it because that's the boulder there um, close yes save them right I'm just wondering, do we here, do we come back? Right, where's that coming from? There. Where's that coming from? There. Where's that coming from? Is there. So, what... The, pr the, the problem I've got here is these two don't exist. Those two routines don't exist. That's that's the thing I'm that's the thing I'm worried about. Those two these two routines don't exist. We we didn't get any code from there. But for some reason our character set is off. Let's let me let me try and show you. I think the character set's out. Like there. I 
I have no idea what that fight is. It's like here, look. It's out by one. These seem to be out by one. Um. Yeah, the numbers are out by one as well, aren't they? It's one too, too early. It's one too early. Okay. Now that's gonna throw a spanner. Let's have a look. That's gonna throw a spanner. I think we're gonna be one bite out now. But let's try it anyway. Yeah. I think that's one bite too far, yeah. But we're at 26A, 26AD, yeah, it's one too far. So I'm just wondering. Oh look, that's OC. Right, we'll get rid of that. That's why our characters are one out. That's why our characters are one out. There it is. There's the offending art article. Right. See if that does it now. Hey, hey, hey. get in there. Come on. Nice. Right, so we are on a winner. Now, I don't deny that, don't deny that these characters, most of these characters are not characters. I bet you some, some of this is game data and we will find that out when when we come to uh, doing it. See, there's the reverse characters there. But we'll find out what characters we use and we'll fine tune this. Because um, this is where the build, the build, the bike dump comes into its own. Because if, let's say, this, it reads data from there, then we'll know that this is not characters. So. I still not sure about this because like I say that routine doesn't exist and that one doesn't but these go these go around I mean eight that is the color register 900F is the color register yeah it's the background and foreground color so that's set in the
Oh, what? Thank you, mate. Jason, thank you. Oh, 500 bits. <laughs> thank you, mate. Thank you. Um, still, I'm not still, not, I mean, this is, right, that's loading 64 and storing it in 84. Then it does that. Right, I think, I think, let's run this again and let's see if there's anything at that area. Because I'm just wondering if it's copying, I'm just wondering if it's copying uh, memory from one place to another. Right, let's die, because I think it's that flashing, that die flashing. Um, come on, come on, kill me, come on, kill me. Come on. I'm just sitting duck. Here we go. There. Right. Monitor. Right, let's see. What where where was it looking at? Um OE63. OE63. Uh, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, what was the other one? 07E7. No, nothing there. So, I don't think that function's called at all. Um... I mean, to be honest... <laughs> Oi, pack it in. Pack it in. Um, let's see if we've got a, a jump that goes to 1810. No. So there's no jump to that. I think this is just junk. Because it's not doing anything there. It's, um, it's like this here, where I'd like to see what this is doing as well. But it's not in a place that I can, that we can look at. Um, I suppose. Is there an ass? Is there an a mem? Oh, yeah, there is, isn't there? Hang on. Let's fire it up. Monitor memory one e o o. There's a lot of spaces in there. There's nothing else. I think that is just just plat rubbish. It's like that 2000 is just rubbish. Look, you know, all that can go. I think here is where it starts. There, that's where it starts. So all this, all this up here, is just rubbish. And I think this is rubbish. But we'll need to. Um, We'll need to check. Let's see if there's any direct um, looking at it. Well, there's no absolute values looking at it. Hmm. So we can strip out, like this lot here, we can strip out all of that. So let's uh, let's strip out those FDs. So it finishes here, two four nine seven. Two four nine seven. So let's put star equals two four nine seven, and then we'll just 
rem this lot out and see if it still runs. We'll rem it out to there. See if it still runs. Oh, we got a build error. Oh, eight, seven, three. Eight, seven, three. Oh, oh, well, that's just junk data. Um, That's just junk data. 2097. Uh, no, 2059. That's here. Um, right, okay. We'll leave that, that one in. Because that's just... It's just to satisfy the jump. Oh, we got another one. Hey, someone's got a badge. <laughs> um, 20... 2 a one That's there. Two oh nine two. That's there. Let's do that. How many more? Two oh five three. Here we go. Ooh, that's thrown it, thrown it out a bit, hasn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Those jumps will be all over the shop, won't they? Oops. Right. Right, let's just rem these out. And we'll deal with them one at a time. do them one at a time right here we go eight seven three so this one is going to be dot bite jump I think that's 4c jump instruction set jump Yeah, 4C. 4C. And that's jump into 205059. So that's going to be 59, comma, 20. Right, that's that one done. Oh, this BVC is going to be a problem, isn't it? Where's that going? Is that going forward or backwards? Oh, that's going there. Oh, that's all right. I'm happy with that. Right, we'll get rid of that one. Right, so this one's dot byte dollar twenty um A one two O two O. Get rid of that one. This one is dot byte. Dollar twenty, dollar ninety two, comma twenty. Let's got rid of that one. Dot byte twenty, ninety two, twenty. Right, 
does that work? Missed one. Uh, line 20, 2349. Wow, that's a long way down. Oh, here we go. Dot byte twenty, comma fifty three, comma twenty. Dot byte twenty, fifty five, twenty. Dollar uh, dot byte dollar twenty fifty eight twenty. I might as well do this one while we're at dot byte twenty fifty seven. Oh no. That's going to be the other way around, isn't it? That's going to be that. Right. Any more? Right. So we'll run a winner. Haha! -ha! It looks better. Graphics still intact. Right, so we've got we've just eliminated all this lot, so we can let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of those. This lot here. Don't need it. As long as our bytes are still in the right order. Let's build it. Let's check. Um, well, we can look at the bottom now, can't we? 388F. Yes, we are still on our target. So we've got rid of all that. There's still this here, which I'm not sure about. There's still that. I mean, we could rem all that out and see if it breaks anything. Let's have a look. See if uh, if reming all this lot out breaks anything. Because that's the screen. Evening, Doctor. Well, that screen's still in intact. That screen's still intact. Yep, so that was just a bunch of no, non, non gubbins. So we'll get rid of that. We don't need it. Right, still not sure about this. Right then, so it's a case of. Um, It's a case now of understanding how this is all working. So two six AC two six AC, where's that gone? Here we go. 26 AC. So that's our start. That's our start point. 
So I reckon that that is. Um, I, I'm just wondering if that is the um, game reset. And so they use it as a start point, you know, where it comes up with the title screen. So when you've died, you go back to the title screen and and stuff. And they've, because they've hopped in halfway through this routine here. They've hopped in. And I'm just wondering, 9001. What's 9001? Just so you can see it. Oh, that's the t that's the TV position. So that's change. So that's changing. Oh, that's that's offsetting the TV vertically up. Up. Is it up? Because if you notice, you're in the gameplay. It's it's up. So I'm just wondering if that's sa that's subtracting and this. This is then bringing it back down for the title screen. Because the title screen is the normal size window. But then the game makes it big. Yeah, that's. Pr I, think, I still think this is the death, death routine. I'm not too sure about that routine now. Three four nine oh, because that doesn't. It says it's bad. Is that down here? Yes, it is. Well, that's here. It says it's bad, but it's not bad. So now it's a case of. Um, it's a case of uh, adding some uh, identifying the zero pages finding out what they do we know these so we can easily set them and try and do do these um, but it's just to so we need to decipher the title screen so that's this bit here get it try and get it back into um, either put it into bytes or into text um, and see what everything is. We know what that is. We've already started working out where the stuff is. O oh, two eight eight. I thought that was free. So they're putting one C in 0288. Oh, high base. Oh, screen map rampage. Okay. This byte is set by power on reset routines. You can multiply the contents of this location by 256 to get the current, current location of the screen ramp. On an unexpected VIC, the screen is at 76080 and this location contains 30. 1E. Alright. Alright, okay. So, and I think what's happening is because they've made the screen bigger for the game, they've raised the screen from 1E to 1C. So, our code, our, our character set that encroaches on the 1C, 
So here we go. So this is the here we go. One C. So from here, we we don't need it because the screen's just going to go straight into it because they've they expanded the screen to utilise that. Right. So. Um, that's the screen page location then uh, so this is the title so let's put a label on here let's do this prop properly And then CB, CB1E is just a basic routine. It's the same as the 64AE1E. It's the print routine. Um, how can I get there? Halfway. There we go. So CB1E. There we go. Is the print print routine of the Vic 20 and that's how I knew that we that we needed to look for a zero um, we needed to look for a zero on that string because that's the tip that's what flags the terminator right okay I think we're gonna leave it there because I have still got things to do and We've got it working, you know, press F6, except for it doesn't auto start, which is fine. We have to do the 990. We have got a fully disassembled um, Myriad game. Don't understand how it works yet, but it's the step. And the fun bit is now trying to understand how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this going to put this code on the Patreon GitHub site, so you patrons can download it and have a play. I'll leave the hopefully the git git, git should hold this PDF in place, shouldn't it? I won't get a copyright strike or anything like that, will I? Um. I can't put the map in of the 64 in Discord, it's too big. It just throws it out. So I'll have to find another way of getting it to you guys. I know I had that to do, but I tried it before the stream started. And that's why I was late. I was trying to get it uploaded to the Discord and it wouldn't do it. So I might... Um, I don't know if I can put it on the forum. I do have an FTP site myself Dropbox oh yeah oh Google Drive I've got Google Drive I've got shed loads of room on that yeah I'll create a I'll create an area on Google Drive and then I'll I'll put the link in discord say I'll do the same with the map in the Vic as well I'll put that in to Google Drive I won't put it in um, github just in case um, get in trouble right okay I think we're in a really good place and if you guys want to play with this uh, and you are a patron of mine of the assistant producer level then you'll be able to get hold of this code tonight when I've uploaded it on into the uh, patron repo download it have a play see if you can understand it Boost the Discord. Yeah, I've got to look into that, mate. Got to look into that. Um, I mean, I've bought a, <laughs> I bought a Raspberry Pi for my bot, so it's going to be, because I'm going to, I'm going to buy some sort of sign and lighting that allows you to mess around, change the colour and stuff like that. I want to play. So I've bought another Raspberry Pi to just basically run the bot. So it's going to be in the server room, just sitting there. 
being a bot when I've understood how Node.js works. Right, okay guys, well thanks very much for joining me. Thank you very much for the bits and the subscription. Much appreciated. Um, it all goes to all this lot. I mean, I've, I've got to show you something that's just come in, but I'm going to clean it up first. All right then, thank you very much guys. Let's see if anybody's around. Let's see, have we got anybody? I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.